Hello, I'm Dion, welcome to my studio. Today we are looking at the amazing artist, Chris Athele. So I've got a piece of his work behind me and hopefully you've got a couple of examples to look at as well. Um, now Chris Athele is amazing because he uses so many different materials to try and describe the person or the event that he'd like to portray in his work. And by materials, I mean lots of different things. So from glitter to beads to even um, dung, which is, he's quite famous for. And you can actually see it here where his works stood up on. <laughs> so that's another, yeah, interesting way to approach your artwork. Now today we're not going to be doing that. We're going to be using lots of nice craft materials that you may have around the, craft, um, the classroom or at home. Um, and if you don't, you could use things like dried pasta or things that may be in the cupboards. Um, so it's whatever you have to hand. Now, what I'd like you to do is to start exploring some of these lovely materials. So in my studio here, I've got lots of nice things like I've got glitter. I've got some coloured matchsticks. I've got some pom poms. I've got some wooden shapes. And then I've got lots of leftover like confetti things that I'm going to use. So it's about looking at what's around you and then thinking about their different properties. So by that I mean how do they feel, how do they look, what do they remind you of. And then I'm going to get you to start laying out a face. So we're going to start thinking about eyes, nose, mouth. You might like to describe with some hair. Um, in Chris Feely's work, the portraits are always quite big and they're very much about that person's personality and strength. So I'd like you to sort of embrace that and think about that as you're working. So try to, when you lay out on your board, lay out the features nice and big and start thinking about that person that you're describing with your materials. So I've started to do it. And I've started to slowly lay things out, like pom poms are obvious ones for eyes, but I just quite I quite like that. I started putting down some of my sticks, thinking about some of the face shape. I'm then going to really think about my background and fill it with lots and lots of these different shapes that I've got. So, like I was saying, all of these words, but I'm going to layer and layer and layer and layer them. And how I'm doing this is by popping lots of glue onto the board first and then sticking all of the items onto the glue and then doing another layer of glue just to really seal it onto the surface. So I'd like you to approach this in the same way. So start with your face and then slowly build up your background. Now it might be that by the time you come to your background you think, oh actually I'd like to use magazines or something to do like that to do the collage bit. But Chris Ophelia's work is very much about the background as it is the character themselves. So I'd like you to really think about that within your own work. So this is something that you're, you're kind of constructing. So it's going to take time. And as you can see with mine, it's really the first layer. And it almost looks a bit like a skeleton at the moment. So I'm just going to keep building and building. I've found these lovely glittery shapes here. I think we're off of a decoration or something like that, so I'm using those for, for hair, but just to give you an idea of how you could do it. Um, and then, like I said, I've got plans for making this really sparkly and really busy in the background. So try to really study all of the different things that really makes his work his work. So these are buttons here, there's lots of beautiful beads, and actually where things aren't um, stuck on physically he also paints that lovely texture or that pattern as well so you could almost use string or something like that for hair so try and be creative as possible with all of these lovely colourful materials that are in front of you.